All right, what's up DVW fam? As you guys can see the palm trees over there, the high rise buildings over there. We're in beautiful Waikiki right now. We just touched down in our Airbnb. And in this video, we're gonna explore some of the best foods and things to do and see in Hawaii. So yeah, stay one. Let's go check out Waikiki. All right, y'all, so we're walking in the main Waikiki shopping area right now. There's high rise buildings all around us. There's like a shopping mall, a lot of restaurants and food here. How's it feel being in Hawaii? Vacation mode. Yep, this is basically like the main tourist area. That's why we got these tourist shirts. Leia got us these Hawaiian shirts right here. And the hotel gave us these leis. So yeah, our first stop is Aloha Kitchen for some Hawaiian food. We're in Hawaii, so we're gonna eat all the Hawaiian food we can. Yeah, so that's the international marketplace right there across the street. And if we keep making a left, we'll head to Waikiki Beach. So we'll do that later on in the video and maybe watch the sunset in Waikiki. So we're at our first restaurant ever in Hawaii. Are you excited, Leah? I'm hungry, so yes, yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> I don't know where we're eating, but it looks good. So this spa is recommended by Bill and Lisa's Yelp collection. So they always know the good eat. They've been to Hawaii many times, but this place says that they had the number one local moco outside so i love local moco let's see what they're talking about oh yeah they said this is their best seller so i'm getting this one right here all right you guys know i love local moco so i'm gonna give you guys my first impression of oahu's local moco here at aloha table see that gravy on there i got that nice yolk all over the gravy and the gravy actually looks pretty thin so let's try it out Mm. So he said this is Kobe style local moco. I love local moco having like that gravy engulf the meat and soak in with the Hawaiian rice. It's just really savory, especially with the egg yolk. You can just drink it like soup. Mm -hmm. The main thing is definitely the gravy. The gravy is good, the local moco is good. How's your shrimp? It's really good. I'm kind of thinking you're supposed to eat this with the shell on. Cause it's crunchy, right? It yeah, it's garlic. crunchy. So I kind of was trying to peel it, but this is—it's so garlicky and really good. And these shrimp are huge. Look at that. I could actually smell the garlic from all the way over here. I'm gonna take a crack at Leia's garlic shrimp. Mmm. Mmm. The shrimp on the inside is nice and sweet. The shell is nice and salty and buttery. Ooh, you saw it squirt when I bit into it. Nice fresh shrimp inside. It's really nice and thinly breaded on the outside and has a lot of flavor on the shell. It's garlic butter, so yeah, it has a nice salty butter taste. Mm -hmm. So we're just walking Waikiki right after uh, our meal at that Aloha table. So we saw this little Masubi store selling these bad boys right here. And you know, Masubi is a must in Hawaii so let's check it out it's a cute little store really small it's a uh, Japanese-esque I would say so let's try it out mm. it's a nice snack but I really like the spam really nice and sweet it's a nice bite mm -hmm. how's your acai bowl Alright, so me and Leia just got to the world famous Waikiki Beach. Of course, it's very crowded. It's actually very hot right now. We stopped by the Sunrise Shack to get us a Hawaiian acai bowl. So let's try it out. Mmm. Really nice and refreshing in this Hawaiian heat right now. How's your bowl, Leia? Good. Mm -hmm. It's hot. <laughs> this is the Honolulu Life acai bowls and Waikiki Beach. We're gonna hop in in the water in a second. After we finish this blue dream right here, salud. <laughs> so we're shopping for water inside the Mitsua at the uh, in the Waikiki shopping center, and we saw a random. Mochi donut spot and I love mochi donuts so I got me a cookie and cream one. Let's see how it is. Oh yeah. That's a lot better than the first mochi donut I've ever had. This is good. Let's try it out. Mmm. I like that's not super sugary, but the thing about mochi donuts is that they're a lot spongier, chewier because they have that mochi consistency in them. Flames. Mmm. 
-hmm. It must be our lucky day, our first day in paradise, and we see a Hawaiian rainbow. Look at that, guys. It's beautiful. Another rainbow in the distance over there. All right, y'all, so we're at this really cool and popular place called a Steak Shack right on Waikiki Beach right now. So the thing is to do here is to grab a freshly made Hawaiian-style steak plate and enjoy it while watching the sunset right here. And we're on, like, the other side of Waikiki Beach, not where we were earlier with the hotels because the sun sets over here. So there's already a bunch of people waiting right now to watch the sunset, but it's actually very cloudy right now. It was just raining earlier, so... We might not see it today, but we did see a couple rainbows, so that's a good sign. But yeah, the steak smells really good. Had a really long line, I waited almost like 40 minutes for this. Seems like it's worth it. Let's try it out. Mmm. Really thick pieces of steak. I believe it's sirloin. Very peppery. With a little um, light teriyaki vinaigrette sauce. Very light. It's not too sweet, but anything you eat near the beach is great, so what better way to end the day? What do you think? Dan's really good at describing food. It's like super peppery, but it's really nice pieces of steak. So they gave us a sauce to use it with. Let me see how it is. Let's see. Mmm. Like it's like a thick, chili, sweet soy. I actually really enjoy it a lot more with the sauce. Usually I stay away from the sauce, but I think the sauce makes it 10 times better because without it, it's just like a peppery steak. But with the sauce, it's like a teriyaki. Even if you can't see the sunset because it's cloudy, it's actually nice to people watch and enjoy the skyline of Waikiki, guys. So, first sunset in Waikiki. We'll come back tomorrow and show you guys the Waikiki sunset without the clouds hopefully because that's one of the must do things apparently you gotta do here is watch the sunset on Waikiki. So we're in this really cool store that we can't avoid in Hawaii called the ABC store. There's like a bunch of Hawaiian trinkets, souvenirs, food, spam masubis, chicken teriyaki here. But yeah, they're literally in every corner but there's a bunch of, you know, different Hawaiian trinkets or items or food that you may not find where you're from. So it's really cool to explore. Um, yeah, so. So I saw an ube ice cream sandwich in the fridge. I've been eyeing that one for a while, so I'm gonna snag one and see how it is. All right, so time to give y'all our first impressions of Waikiki in hindsight after our seven day trip here. So a lot of locals will say to avoid Waikiki at all costs, but here I'll give you my thoughts and opinions and weigh out our pros and cons. Some of the pros are that the beach is very easily accessible, mostly anywhere you stay in Waikiki. It's probably the main attraction here and it was around a five to 10 minute walk from our place. Many of the food, restaurants, and shops are also in very close proximity to each other. So there's a lot of action probably anywhere you stay in Waikiki. So if you don't have a car and you're on foot, you probably won't get bored just walking around Waikiki. There's a lot of things to do. So here are some of the cons I've noticed. Waikiki Beach is extremely crowded, probably the most densely populated beach I've ever visited. But hey, maybe some people enjoy the company. We noticed also that most things in Waikiki are very expensive. Our hotel wasn't the best. It was one of the cheaper options actually called the Aqua Aloha Surf and it ended up with all the fees being around $261 per night. So I can only imagine the other hotels in the area. We got good recommendations to the restaurants around here, but we learned in hindsight that most of the spots directly in the Waikiki area can be overly priced. So the food wasn't bad by any means. Just make sure you guys take into consideration all the other food options around Oahu and try some of the local options as well. So to sum things up, we thought experiencing Waikiki for the first time was definitely a fun and enjoyable experience, but it's not an area we'll stick around during our seven day stay here. We ended up branching off to do other things around the island. We'd come back to tour Waikiki every now and then for a snack, but we never returned to the main Waikiki beach. There's just so many other options and beaches to choose from around the island that weren't intensely crowded. Some just a couple miles walking distance left to right from that beach. So yeah, we had a great day saw and ate some amazing stuff around the rest of the island so stay tuned for more oahu content all right so we saw us in the abc store how to get it it is a ube ice cream sandwich i love ice cream sandwich cookies and cream ice cream sandwich never had a ube cookie sandwich and this is with sugar cookies so let's try it out mm. Mm. cookie is nice and mushy it's pretty sweet wow that's so good mom said like vanilla inside like a regular cookie sandwich you get thick ube ice cream just a hint of that sweetness from the 
ube mm, i love ube it better be good though this was like seven bucks for one of this but it's pretty good so pretty worth it i like it mm -hmm. and it's not like a chocolate chip cookie on the outside it's a sugar cookie yum so this is our view of waikiki we're not staying at the best resort but got some decent city lights city views got some palm trees back there but yeah guys day one in waikiki oahu was a success so yeah i got a lot of good hawaiian food went to the beach so see you guys in our next video deuces